Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use GitX state management. As in previous video, we have seen how to implement navigation manager using GitX. If you haven't watched that video, I will link it in the description. You can go ahead, watch that and come back to this video. In this video, we will have some simple examples to learn the usage of GitX state management. And in the coming videos, I will show you some real life or real world examples to actually use GitX into your application. And if you're interested, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss such videos in the future. And without talking too much, let's get started right now. So to get started, first you have to import the git into the pubspec yaml and then we're good. Also notice that we are using git material instead of material app. So we have got our application with a single button. By pressing this button, I want to change the click to some other text. Right now nothing happens because we have not implemented anything in the on press. To do this using Flutter, it's very simple. First our app should be stateful. And then here we can simply call sit state and assign the text. To some other text. So now let's see how we can do that using GitX. So in GitX we have two ways to update the state. One is the reactive way and the other one is simple. In the reactive way we make our object or variable reactive or observable that it will keep track of any update and it will reflect the update as soon as it receives. And in the simple way we have to update the variable manually by calling update function. So let's see how we can use the reactive way and then I will show you the simple way as well. So to use the reactive way of state management first we have to make our variable observable by adding obs at the end we can make any variable whether it's list string boolean or anything observable by adding dot obs at the end adding this now we are getting some error here because we have to access its value instead of simply text we say text dot value that's how we can access the observable value now to update the variable using getx we can simply say text dot value equals to new value which in this case i will say clicked so right now we are good but if i press this button nothing will happen because the value will be changed but it will not be reflected into our actual text because this text is not aware of any update so in any place that you're using this changeable variable you have to wrap that widget with obx widget which is coming from getx now if we save the application and see the result by clicking this button it will be updated so what happens here is first we make the variable observable by obs whenever we press this button we can simply say text dot value to another value which is simple and logical and to make the value reflectable we have to wrap the widget with observable now i want to show the clicked and the count how many times we we have clicked this button for that let's create another variable integer count equals to zero now to make this zero observable we have to add dot obs and uh, it says that type int cannot be assigned to rx int we can either make it as varb which will choose the type according to our value or we can also make it rx int instead of int we have got this rx int which again means reactive integer now we can use it in the same text box by adding our text is already wrapped with the observable widget. The only thing we have to do is it will increment the value of count whenever we press. Now if we save the application and see the result, it will say click 0, click 1, click 2 and so on. So you see it is very simple to use getx and update the variable without calling the set state again and again. So to make it a little bit more advanced, we can create a list view builder and by pressing the button, it will generate a new item to the list. To do that, make an empty list and inside list, I will add two items. So this is a simple list which we have done in Flutter and to make it observable, we can simply say OBS at the end and down here I can say, all right, so we have made our list as observable and also we have given the item count as text.lint and here we have using the text of index which will give us the item in the specific index so on place of this one I want to text dot add add new items of index which will give us item 1 to whichever index we are pressing it will give us item of that number now if we save the application you can see by pressing of this one nothing happens because we have not made our list view observable we have to also specify here that this is obx so now we have made our list view as observable which means that the value of list view will change now if we save the application 
location and now click here we can see that item will add another index so now I would like to separate this variable into a single file called controller which in more complex applications we usually do separate our controllers where we write our actual logic and also we have separate files for our models and another separate file for our widgets so it's better to get an idea how to do those stuff with these simple examples and uh, in the future it will be easier for you to understand so here I will create a simple file called my controller whenever we make controller we have to also extend the class with gitx controller which will allow us to use gitx inside our controller so from our main i will simply cut this list and paste it inside our controller and now to access this list using our controller we can simply go to our main or whichever screen that we want to access we can create my controller so now we made an instance of my controller using this instance we can access the variable inside our controller and also update its value so right now we don't have access to text we can simply say now if we restart our application and see whether it is performing the same way or not now if i press this one it will do add item which is the same thing so in this example it's only one variable and we have added into our controller but in some complex application like retrieving data from API or doing some other stuff you can do all those things inside your controller and you can simply access the final result inside your main screen and also you can update the final result or any variable inside your controller from your main screen or from any other screen just by creating one instance of your my controller all right so this is the reactive way of state management in gitx that we are making the variable as observable and also we wrap the widget which is changed by obx now to use the simple way of state management in gitx we have to do some changes we can simply remove this obx from here down here we have to make another function to update the value manually so we have to create a separate function like this whenever we want to manually update the value of this text list we have to call this and pass the index and then it will add the new item inside our list which is item of index and we also have to call update if we don't call update it will not update the list nothing will change in our ui as well so to use this method we also have to do one change in our main screen which is we have to remove this obx we don't need it anymore and now instead of that one we need some other widget which is called git builder which will be of type my controller all right to use the simple way of state management in gitx we wrap our widget which want to change with git builder pass the type of controller that actually having our value and inside that we create the builder which we pass the actual widget and using this controller we can access our variables inside our controllers that we used to do using this one now we can remove the old one and instead of my controller we can simply say controller and here we cannot add directly to text because it's not observable we have to call that function we can call the add item and pass the index now if we restart our application all right we got null value because we have not initialized our controller we can call the init here and simply pass my controller now if we save our application everything will be fine and by pressing of this one this method will be called from controller and this method will add the item and update its value so this is a simple way of state management we have seen the reactive way and simple way it's your choice which one you want to use this one is manually updating the value and it will only happen whenever you call the method or whatever you call this update and the other one is consistently listening to the update and whenever there is a change it will immediately update the variable so it's your choice which one you use i prefer the first one because it's easier but sometimes we may use this one as well to save some memory so this is how we can implement the state management using gitx and flutter if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss upcoming videos which we will discuss more about gitx and do some api implementation and thank you for watching i will see you in the next video